Okay, so welcome to the video for part two of Ho Ho Ho. Um, as you can probably see, as I'm making the placemats, I've actually gone ahead and I've made the the first sort of section because what this is, this is just um, exactly the same as the way we started off our placemat in part one, where it's chart two with the extra little amendments that are listed in the um, important information at the start of the part. And basically, it's exactly the, like I said, it's exactly the same as we did in part one apart from I've used CC1 for the foundation row and rows 1, 3 and 15. So everything else is exactly as we did before. So I've gone and done that. Now whichever pattern you're doing, um, you're now, now going to need to start on chart three and that's really simple. It's just going to be a simple row of back loop double crochets again. So say whether you're doing the blanket or the placemat it's just going to be as we've done before you start with your edge stitch which is a standard double crochet under both loops chain we miss this chain here and then it's just going to be your back loop double crochets there okay so you carry on oh try and pick up all of the strands in the yarn carry on and do that and you can do row two as well because that will just be another plain row a back loop double crochets using your main color which for me is this white sort of gypsum color okay so i'll see you for round uh, row three okay so just like for santa in part one um the snowflakes here chart three have also got a 24 stitch repeat so i've just gone and put my little markers in on like the the, which will be the last stitch of each repeat so um, that should now line up if you can see with the little sort of um, stitch in the middle there okay and there so you've got two of these sort of snowflakey geometric designs for each um, for each snowflake okay so now we've done that let's get started on row three so as always slip knot on hook edge stitch chain okay then we have got one back loop double crochet before we actually start on our repeat and then the repeat is three front loop trebles one two three then we've got seven back loop double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then one front loop treble. One back loop double. One front loop treble. Then we've got seven back loop double crochets again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three front loop trebles. It should now take us up to our marked stitch which luckily it does and we're going to end our repeat with a back loop double crochet okay so you're now ready to start again with another three front loop trebles so you just carry along and complete that row there remembering that when you get to those you'll have two stitches left when you get to your last, last repeat um, and you're just going to end that with a chain miss the chain from the previous row and then your standard double crochet edge stitch into that last stitch okay so you carry on and do that and i will see you for row four right so i've now got started on row four with the edge stitch chain and then there's a back loop double crochet before the repeat starts 
So row four, the repeat starts with five more back loop double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Then we've got a little bit in square brackets, so we're going to be repeating one treble and three back loop double crochets. So we're going to do that three times. So and one, two, three. So that is twice. Then one more treble, three back loop double crochets. One, two, three. So then we've got one front loop treble, and then we end over the, re the repeat there with six more back loop double crochets. Two, three, four. Five. And yep, the sixth one is right there on top of my mark stitch, although I haven't actually moved my marker up. Okay, so you're now going to just start the second repeat with five more back loop double crochets and then do all this again. So repeat that along and I'll see you for row five. Okay, so row five starts this time with obviously the edge stitch in the chain and then we've actually got a front loop treble before the repeat starts. So I've just gone and done that. So we now carry on with five more trebles. Two, two, three, four. Five. Then we've got one back loop double crochet, one front loop treble, then we've got nine back loop double crochets, two, three, eight, nine. One front loop treble, one back loop double, and then I'll repeat ends with six front loop trebles. One, two, three, four, five, and then the last one is there just underneath, open that just underneath our marker there. Okay, so now you just obviously need to start the next repeat with your five front loop trebles again and you can carry on along the row and do that. And once you've done that, I will see you for row six. All right, so row six, we know row six is going to start with a back loop double crochet before our main repeat because we've got the trebles here. So there's nothing else you can do when you see a treble on the previous row. You know the only thing you can do is a back loop double crochet. Okay, so... The repeat for row six starts with another seven back loop double crochets. So one, two, three, oh, try that one again. So I've got four, five, six, seven. Then we've got some more square brackets, so we've got to repeat one front loop treble, one back loop double. We've got to do that four times in total, so that was one, oh. try again, two, three, Then we've got one front loop treble, so that now sort of finishes off this little section of our snowflake there. And then we end the repeat with nine back loop double crochets. 
eight in fact i don't know why i can't read <laughs> it felt that didn't make sense eight we're going to finish that repeat with eight right group double crochets seven eight beautiful and then we're going to start the next one with seven more back loop double crochets so yeah you're going to have chunks of back loop double crochets and then just got this little little run of one front loop double one back loop double in between so if you want to carry on and do that and i will see you for row seven right so row seven now starts with a back loop double crochet before the main repeat starts and we're now going to do seven front loop trebles so we start with seven front loop trebles and I'll repeat two three four five five six seven so now we've got three back loop double crochets oh, all tangled up with my white yarn there <laughs> so three back loop double crochets one front loop treble one back one front okay then three back loop double crochets two three and then we end the repeat with seven front loop trebles which will take us up to our marker at the end there and the very end of the repeat is going to be another back loop double crochet so I've got four five six seven marvelous and then one back loop double crochet there to end the repeat okay so if you carry on repeat all of that and to be honest, I think now we've got the pattern set, you're probably okay to go off on your own. Um, I will just come back every couple of rows and show you a little picture of what it should look like so you can compare that with what you've got from the pattern. <laughs> okay so this is now chart three finished so this is how, how our snowflakes ends if you're making the blanket you can go straight carry straight on from here with chart four if you're making the placemat though we are not going to be doing chart four on this one we need to end it the way we started just like we did in um, part one so you're going to be doing your chart two again at the top and obviously this time you're going to be doing your accents using your CC1 colour. Okay, so basically the top half will sort of be a mirror image of what we've got down here. So you can complete that there.
Okay, so this is um, how my blanket actually looks after I've done chart three and just the first row of chart four. I'd start with that because it's just a plain back loop double crochet row. So obviously you've got your edge stitch, your chain, and then your back loop double crochets right until the last two stitches, chain, edge stitch. So I've done that to get started. I wanted to show you this because with the placemat, um, obviously we were repeating chart two from part one so the placemat doesn't actually include the instructions for chart three because we're going to be putting that basically at the beginning of of part two um of the part three of the ho 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 panel so just wanted to run you through just how to get started on the holly so what we're doing um say i've already done row one of chart four so row two is the color that we're going to be using for our holly berries and we're going to be creating them in the same way as we did Santa's nose on part one. So it's just that little sort of puff stitch on this row so that it'll just make the, the holly berry stand out a little bit more than if we just did a plain, um, a plain double crochet because they sort of disappear into the background a little bit. I want the holly berries to be a little bit more obvious. So, so it's just the same as we did Santa's nose. So we're going to start as we always do with our standard double crochet edge stitch chain, miss the chain and then we've got one back loop double crochet before the main repeat starts so that's that so now we've got our repeat starts with five more so one, two, three, four five and then the important bit which is our little puff so to do that it's basically working three um half trebles into the same back loop so yarn over insert pull up the loop so that's one then yarn over two three so we've now got one two four seven loops on our hook Yarn over, pull through all of those. See, so we do that, and then we've got to finish the repeat with another six back loop double crochets. So yeah, that doesn't show up too much at the moment, but it will do by the time we've done the next row. So yeah, so we end that repeat there, as I said, with six back loop double crochets. So that's five, six. And then we start the uh, the next repeat with five more. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and then you'll know you're in the right place if you can see if you see this first puff we did was right above this little prong from the last snowflake. And the next one is the same so that's where they're going to be all of our puffs if you've done them right with it you'll have 11 stitches between them and they'll always be above one of these little arms of the snowflakes so i'll just show you the puff again yarn over so one two three then yarn over and pull through all of them again don't worry about that loop pulling up a bit That'll be fine. Whoops. And we don't do, if you notice, I didn't do an extra. Some people, when they make puffs, will do an extra chain to kind of hold it in. But if you do that, you're basically creating another stitch. And so I didn't want to confuse you. So don't create the chain to like close it up. The next stitch will do that. Okay. So you just carry on along like so. So you'll have your 11 double crochets in between your puffs until you get to the end and then there'll just be six six double crochets before you get to the the final um chain and edge stitch let's carry on and do that and i will be back to show you row three okay so i've just now got started on row three with my edge stitch the chain and then there's a front loop treble before the main repeat starts so i've just got started on that so it's a nice easy repeat again all we're basically doing so we're going to be covering up all of these um the red 
back loop double crochets that we did on row on row two we're going to be covering them up with trebles so i've got five more front loop trebles to do so this is the start of the repeat two three four five so that's covering up all those double crochets between the puffs and then to make that puff pop forward we're not going to be working a back loop double crochet just as we did for Santa's nose we are going to do a front post stitch so it's a front post double crochet so just go around that post like so do your double crochet there and that just brings that puff forward and then you finish off the repeat with six more front loop treble so just make sure you don't miss this first one because it is budged right up to the puff okay so that repeat ends with one two three four five six trebles okay you can see our little holly berry sticks out nicely so we now start the next repeat with five more trebles so you're going to have on this row you're going to have 11 trebles between your puffs showing so two three four five to add on that six from the first repeat so again front post stitch so you just insert your hook like so around the stitch double crochet okay so carry on along and do that you can also do row four because that is just a plain row back loop double crochet again but this time we're using the color that we're going to be using for our holly leaves so for this traditional one that is the Stylecraft green so do that and I will see you for row five right so I've now just started row five with the edge stitch chain and that first treble before the main repeat starts these are all nice easy little repeats really for this one so after that first one we start the repeat with two more front loop trebles so one two then we have got three back loop double crochets three. and then one front loop treble which should be right above our holly berry there and three more back loop double crochets and we're going to end the repeat with three front loop trebles one two three Okay, so that is our repeat. Start on the next one again with two more front loop trebles. Two. Then the three back loop double crochets. Treble right above the holly berry. Three double crochets. And then we're going to end with three front loop trebles. So there we are, carry on and do that. And then on row six, what you're basically going to be doing is just coming along, that will be back loop double crochets apart from where we've got these little marks, these little sort of start of things with three back loop double crochets there. We're going to then fill that in with the treble so that'll be starting to make a holly so if you want to say complete row five and do row six and i will see you for row seven okay so that is now row six done so it really start to see where the holly's going to be going and row seven is another nice easy one i've just started it with the edge stitch chain and there's the front loop treble before the repeat start and this is a very easy repeat it is literally just five back loop double crochets two three four five and then one front loop treble so that's all you're going to be doing all the way along one two three four 
five and one front loop one front loop treble so there we are Okay, so I've just now got started on row nine with the usual edge stitch chain and the first stitch before the main repeat starts. So for this one, we're now just going to be basically filling in around the holly leaves. So we've got three back loop double crochets and then five front loop trebles. Three, four, five, then three back loop double crochets, and then we end the repeat with one front loop treble. Okay, so there we go, there's your repeat there. Okay, so I've just now done row 10 um, and now there's a slight difference here with the, the colours you use, whether you're making the blanket or the table runner. So um, if you are making the blanket, then we're just going to be carrying on with the CC2 colour, the, the colour of the leaves. So for me, that's green here. If you are now going to, if you're now following, if you've been following this for the um, table runner, then actually, so we can get all of the different colours in all of the different place settings what I've actually done for rows um, 10 12 and 14 you're actually going to be using your CC3 color the blue just to bring that little bit of blue in so like I say the colors that you use for rows 10 12 and 14 depend on whether you're making the blanket or the runner as I'm making the blanket I'm carrying on with the green so anyway I've done the row 10 and I've just got started with row 11 so after this and so there's the one front loop treble before the repeat starts and the repeat on this one is one, well, where are we? One back loop double crochet, one front loop treble, then seven back loop doubles, one, two, six, seven. We end the repeat with one front loop treble, one back loop double, one front loop treble. So we're then ready to start the next one with an as we did before, back loop double crochet, front loop treble, and then the seven back loop double crochets again. Okay, so that that will be your repeat for row 11 so carry on and do row 11 and 12 in fact you may as well now you should be able to carry on and complete this whole chart for now um, I'll just come back and show you pictures uh, and a couple more pictures the next couple of rows um, and that'll be that <laughs>